how you doing? Thanks for joining me today. What I want to talk to you today about in this video is an open delta configuration. And in this video, I'm going to focus on how we still achieve a three phase voltage, 120 degrees out of phase when we lose one of those windings on a delta transformer. So we're going to start with our delta transformer. A, B, C. Okay, and if we're talking about a 240 volt, let's say it's 240 volts. We know that V A to B is 240 volts. We're going to use it as our reference. So we're going to say at zero degrees. And we know that V B to C is going to be also 240 volts at 240 degrees. And we have this V C to A, which is 240 volts at 120 degrees. Now, Things happen, maybe we burn out a winding on the secondary of this transformer or the primary of this transformer, doesn't matter. All we know is that when we burn out one of these single phase transformers in a delta configuration, we end up with what's called an open delta. Okay, so let's look at what happens with an open delta. So, A, B, C. We still have our applied voltage from our source. of 240 volts, okay, line to line, okay, and what happens with that when we lose that winding is we still have A, B, C, okay, we still have our 240 volts at zero degrees, we still have our 240 volts at 240 degrees, what was lost though was this VC to A, which was 240 volts at 120 degrees. But what we're gonna do right now is prove that that is still there and available to us as a voltage from our transformer, okay? So we're gonna take our, I'm just gonna do this on the Cartesian plane, I'm not gonna go through an HB chart, but you're more than welcome to on your own. So, we said we still have our V A to B, which is at zero degrees. We'll use a different color. There's my V A to B. And I still have my V B to C, which is at 240 degrees. V C to A though, this one is gone. Now, is it truly gone? Let's find out. If I wanted to measure C to A, I don't have a coil there anymore, but what I can do is backtrack through my transformer to prove that that voltage is still there. If I was to go from C to B, that is the opposite of B to C. And if I say the opposite, we're talking about 180 degrees difference. So if I look at VB to C is at 240, well, 180 degrees from that, we have VC to B, which is, 240 volts at now 60 degrees. Same thing, I went C to B plus B to A, which is the opposite of VA to B. So if we flip from 180 degrees from zero, we see there's my VB to A. So C to A, we're gonna say VC to A equals VC to B now plus V B to A, which if I was to do it on an HB chart, would end up with this third voltage of 240 volts at 120 degrees. So that proves even in our open delta system, when we lose one of those windings, we still have that third phase voltage available to us from our transformer. Hopefully this has helped. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time where we're going to talk about reduced capacity of an open delta system. Thank you. Bye-bye.